Happening today, the 50th anniversary of the Detroit Freedom Walk kicks off in less than an hour. In 1963, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. marched down Woodward with more than 100,000 supporters by his side. 7 Action News reporter Kelly McDermott joins us now live from along that same route. Kelly, how many people are they expecting to turn out today? Well, I can tell you, Malcolm, there are already probably more than a thousand, maybe a couple thousand here right now. This march kicks off in a little less than a half an hour down Woodward. We're here at Woodward and Mac, and there are thousands of people from all sorts of backgrounds here today to honor this anniversary. It was 50 years ago when Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. first delivered his first version of the I Have a Dream speech right here in downtown Detroit. So this is really a big deal for Detroit, for the region, and also for the country. And joining me right now to talk a little bit more about this event is Candace. Candace, where are you from? Detroit. All right, and where, why did you decide to come out here today? I just wanted to be a part of the historic event. I thought it was very important that I, I join in this uh, event with everybody and celebrate 50 years since Dr. Martin Luther King first gave his speech. What do you think, his, how far do you think his message has come today? I think it's come a long way. I think it's amazing to just see the strides that we've taken as a people to come this far. And I'm just looking forward to the further, uh, I'm looking forward to how further we could go in the future. So I'm really pleased and um, I'm proud of our people for coming out and celebrating this event on today. Okay, thanks, Candace. And there are people that have come from all the way from San Francisco to be here today. Right now, let's talk to James. James, you're from San Francisco. Why did you drive or fly all the way here? Uh, well, I flew here. I first wrote, I wrote about this event uh, at university in the late 70s and the importance of labor in the helping the civil rights movement become established and to help bring justice to our country. I was raised in Alabama, and my father was in the Na uh, National Guard there. And his unit was federalized in 63 by President Kennedy and again in 65 by President Johnson. Uh, so civil rights and union rights, worker rights were always a topic of discussion at home. All right, great. Well, thanks so much for coming out here Thank today. You. This event again kicks off in about half an hour. We're here at Woodward and Mac. There's going to be thousands of people that will be walking down Woodward toward Hart Plaza. There's going to be a rally at 1130, maybe closer to noon, depending on how long this march takes. But we'll be out here all morning long bringing you the latest coverage of this event. But again, already thousands of people here ready to march down Woodward. For now, I'm live in downtown Detroit. Kelly McDermott, 7 Action News.